Hello and welcome back to another Understand Your Buyer video. In this video, we're looking at cold visits. So what is it? Well, physically visiting potential buyers, actually going to the premises rather than just cold emailing them or cold calling them can, obviously it depends on your industry, it can make all the difference. It can be a really compelling thing for you to physically appear at the offices or the desk or whatever of your potential buyer to introduce yourself rather than just through email or phone call. How does it work? Well, it works because in person, it's so much easier to create rapport and trust than you can do via email or via phone. This is why when you meet people in real life, and then you follow up afterwards, it's a much more warmer, much more lovely relationship than if you get introduced on email by somebody else. It's just totally different. In person, there's rapport, there's trust. It's just a much better way to do it. Also, if you're physically visiting somebody, it's a sign that you're dedicating time and energy to them. You're not just simply cutting and pasting a million messages or making a million phone calls. You've invested time to come and see these people. I always say to my clients and students, that as buyers, or even as human beings, we've got a sign on our head that says, make me feel important. Make me feel important. And if I'm going to take the time to come to your premises to introduce myself and to visit you, it tells you that I think you're important. I'm investing time in you. So how can you use it? Well, when it comes to cold visits, now this is not for every business. I really want to point that out. You've probably guessed it by now. And it's also not for the faint of heart. But there are two approaches that you can take. And it only really applies to B2B uh, buyers necessarily. So first of all, you can visit buyers who you've researched and you've targeted, you know who they are, and you're going to visit their premises, go to the reception desk, hello, wonder if you can help me, I'm looking to speak with the person that's responsible for X, and we can start that conversation. But this is about companies, you know who they are, you've researched them, it's deliberate, that's step one. The alternative step, step two, is to speak to your work neighbours quote unquote. So these are the people that you share your office building with, your co-working space with, etc. They're not targeted, they're not researched in any way, but by introducing yourself and talking to and hopefully maybe selling to the people around you, we have this common ground of a shared workspace, a shared office. So that's cold visiting. When instead of sending cold emails or DMs, direct messages, you actually visit the premises of your potential buyer in person to introduce yourself. Well, that's it for another Understand Your Buyer video. And if you like this kind of stuff, then you'll definitely like the book, which you can buy at understandyourbuyer.com.